So hello everybody, welcome to the next episode one, the official episode of the Realm season. Oh, it's like the time lapse beginning. I got a ton of resources. We're getting the base built. We're getting it all nice and done. I just got back from the Wither Skeleton Farm. We got three skulls here. I'm about ready to fight the Wither. That should be interesting. Actually, I need soul sand before we do that. Here is some soul sand. I get enough. Is that enough? Yeah, that should be enough. Man, soul sand you walk really slow on. Alright, that should be enough to fight the wither. Uh, I'm going to attempt to head back to the base now, but there's so much lag. Um, you can't really fly. Oh, I take that back. Alright, so the plan is we're going to fight the wither in a cave underneath. And I'm going to build a beacon. And then I have some projects for us today. Alright, so this is the base. See, nothing's really... I'm starting to get it done, but I think I might tear the whole thing down and then rebuild the whole thing in a time-lapse. That might look really cool. I've actually been thinking of ways to do that time-lapse, because I want to make it special. Um, We are going to go down here. Do I have any... Okay, I will have to mine some obsidian while I'm down there. Do I have a water bucket? Okay, where's all my water? Uh, I can just grab a bucket quick. Make sure I'm properly healed up. I should probably take off my elytra. That might be a smart option. I'm gonna go fight a wither in this leg. This is not gonna be good. Um, I think I have my chest plate in my ender chest. Okay, I lost my chest plate. Um, where did I put that? I swear I had it in. Uh, fire protection too. Eh, it's better than nothing, really. Alright, I'm going... We are going to go all out battling the wither. Let's go. Um, I'll get the obsidian later. I want to get action-packed. We need some, some good quality content right here. So I think the plan is going to be that we build it here. And that way we can spawn the wither in and then get out of here before it tries to kill us. I want to get some more. I 
And bingo. Uh, this could be a potentially bad spot to stand in now that I think about it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh, God. This is a really good way of mining out. Oh, I fell into my andesite cave. Oh, I'm running out of room. Oh, this could get really bad now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need to heal up. I need to heal up and I need to go this way. I need to go back the other way down the tunnel. Oh, God. Oh, uh, we have yet to get a wither killer, so this is going to be really interesting. Oh, crap, I'm going to die. <sighs> He's regenerating health, too. This is, could be bad. Oh, we almost got him. Ooh, we got a witherhead. Aren't I fancy now? Look at that. Oh, we didn't blow. Oh, God, we blew up a lot of our base. <laughs> Jeez. Might have to light that up. That could be problematic later. Um, I do need to get some obsidian so I can make a beacon. And then I'm going to show you guys where I or what project I needed the beacon for. So let me just mine up some obsidian here and I will be right back. I need I think I have everything now. Three pieces of obsidian. Five glass. Oof. Got it. All right. Now that I got the beacon, um, I'm going to go up to the iron farm. I want to get some iron blocks, and then I'm going to show you guys what I exactly wanted the beacon for. If I can, if I can fly rockets, rocket power. There we go. All right, let's address the elephant in the sky right now. Um, that's a different iron farm than what you had last time. You are completely right. I built Tango's Iron Phoenix last episode. Um, that farm did not work it well. That one didn't rebuild right. Um, it turns out it wasn't a problem with his farm. It was a problem with the server, and the uh, the lag kept affecting the timings of the villages and. 
This one's actually worked 100% of the time now. This is 128. Um, it is a slightly modified version of the Redstone Spires, 128 village iron farm. This one is a little bit more uh, server friendly, and it changes. I change a lot of the timings up the way it creates villages. Instead of creating them as fast as it can, it creates them as well fast, but I would prefer to have them more accurate. What they are, and then they all spawn there. I put two spawning platforms instead of all the redstone and stuff like that. Um, we call it the Irony because it's just it was kind of a weird name to give it. But I do want to grab yeah, that should be enough. Then I'm going to head to our project area, which is just over here. I decided that this is going to be like a separate part of my base because I want to put all my farms over here. Like, um, uh, is this? This is the wrong part. Um, it's over here. <laughs> That's the spawn island. I can never remember which way to go. Oh, the chunks are having a hard time loading in. We're flying blind. And I'm hungry. We gotta be getting close. Yeah, this is my tree farm, and then over here, this is where I, I needed the beacon. That over there is five slime chunks. There are actually four, but the middle one... Oh god, oh god, no! No! Alright, we're out. This is actually where our next project is. This is four slime chunks, being that one, that one, that one, and that one over there, with the middle one not actually being a slime chunk, but I want to hollow it out in the middle so that way I can just AFK there, and that way I can filter all the items and everything into the middle and maybe build like a storage room down there or something. So yeah, this is all going to be mined all the way down to bedrock level. That'll be fun. That's why I needed the beacon, Instamine for the win. So this is going to be our next project, so let's... Uh, we're going to commit some mine. Oh! Someone must have defeated the dragon. That scared me. We're going to commit some Minecraft sins right now. We're going to mine straight down. I'm going to put the beacon down there. And then I will time lapse the dig.
right. Remember when I said we were going to mine out part of the slime farm? That happened. Oh, God, we already got slime in here. It's already working. Yeah, so basically, Max helped me over there. This fizzy doodle, he's up there. He helped me as well. We got all this mined out in a right around about four hours-ish of mining. Yeah, we've been at this all day. Um, I think what we're gonna do... I think I might live stream or just do a quick update of all the platforms since I got all these guys. So yeah, I will chat to you once we get the first whole slime farm built. That's a lot of coal. Alright, big jump cut. Boom. That's about... 90% of the farm built right there. Oh god, we've been at this for too long. Yeah, um, change of plans. We decided to do the whole farm instead of, yeah, I was supposed to give an update when we just did one, but yeah, we got iron golems all in there. They're all nice and cozy. All ready to get slimes attracted to them. Can I get out of here now, actually? Yes. Um, I'm going to build up the walls, too, with the green clay. Um, I do have some in... Ow. I do have some in uh, this chest. Bam! So, yeah, we're going to finish placing all the clay with, guess what, another time lapse. There's a lot of time lapses in this episode. But we're going to get this done. We're going to get this done, and we're going to get it all nice and party. done all I have to do is build a storage room and an AFK overnight we've already gotten a ton of slime I'm tired I'm gonna go to bed I'll see you all next time peace <laughs>